All right, so we get lots of uh, comments from people on our YouTube channel. Why don't you do more handgun hunting? Well, we listened to what y'all said, so we decided we're going to go ahead and do it. So I went to the gun safe, and I pulled out my old Savage Striker, and I decided what we'll wind up doing, we'll do a product review. This is a 308 caliber handgun, and if you're not a subscriber to our channel, hit that subscribe button now. This video is brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors, and we'll tell you more about them at the end of the video. Now, the Savage Striker is a bolt-action pistol that was manufactured by Savage Arms from 1999 to 2005. The primary purpose was to shoot metal silhouette targets, and because it was so accurate, there were quite a few people like me that used it for hunting. Although this gun is no longer being manufactured, you can find them used, and I've checked around, and they range from about $600 and up, depending upon condition and how motivated the seller is. I'd recommend if you're gonna buy one of these handguns and you can't see it in person, in other words, you go online and you find one for sale, ask for detailed pictures, have them emailed to you, because many times when I bought guns, it just seems like they're not what everybody makes them out to be. Okay, back in the day, in 1999 to 2000, there were a couple of other guns that were made similar to this. The most popular ones that were made back in the day were the Contender by Thompson Center and the XP100 Bullpup by Remington. So this pistol has a composite stock and it's built for either a right-handed or left-handed shooter, but you'll notice it has a loading port on the right side, but the bolt action closes from the left, okay? So it's really intended for the right-handed shooter or the left-handed shooter. This pistol is built with the Savage Model 10 action, which to this day is incredibly popular. The overall length is 22 inches and the barrel measures 14 inches and the gun weighs in around four pounds. And if you wanna see a hunt that we put on our YouTube channel, it was taken years ago, but I used this very same pistol on an antelope hunt, and you can click that video right there. Like the Savage Actions back in the day, they had a three position safety, which is located right on the back of the gun. All the way back is safe, halfway forward is safe, but it allows you to pick up the bolt and unload it. And of course, all the way forward is fire. All right, take a look. It has a muzzle brake on the front, and this is not an ordinary muzzle brake. This is an adjustable muzzle brake that you can open it and you can close it. I like shooting it open and the reason why it has less recoil. Uh, I do want to tell you this, that if you go to a range and you've got people down away from you and you're shooting it open, they're going to be pissed off at you because this sucker is loud. But the reason why I wind up shooting it this way is simple. It reduces recoil and allows me to focus better on a shot. So what we're going to do, we've got the camera set up kind of on with a super slow-mo and I'm gonna shoot it open first. I want you to just see, I don't really care where I hit. Uh, the whole purpose of, of this video is for you to be able to see how much this muzzle brake being open helps with the muzzle rise. So watch this. Okay, now let's go ahead and close it right here. Okay. Same thing. Now, we can compare those two shots video-wise, and I'm sure you're gonna be able to see that the second shot, with it being closed, it has a whole lot more muzzle rise to it. Okay, you'll notice I've got a holographic sight on it. Now, I've uh, done a lot of hunting uh, back in the day I wound up using the scope, but I've really changed in like the holographic sight because I'm actually able to have quicker target acquisition with it. I'm shooting at targets that are 200 yards and less with this little pistol. And so with that being the case, I wind up, I really like that holographic sight. Quick target acquisition and it holds zero, is dead on. The Striker was available at eight different calibers. This one is chambered in 308, and the reason I chose the 308 because I wanted to be able to use it big game hunting, and I wanted to make sure it was powerful enough to take down animals that were as big as elk. Now this 308 holds three cartridges, two in the magazine and one in the chamber. But the setup here, I want to point this out. I've got a sandbag on the back, which allows me to have it where it's just rock solid. I've got a, a holographic side up here, but I've also got this bipod up on the front where I have a two by four on it, where I can push forward and I can get all the pressure on it where absolute it's rock solid. If it's not rock solid, I'm not taking a shot. So let's go ahead and get some targets set up and take it from there. All right, with this deal right here, we're gonna put a target up 100 yards, okay? 
this pistol that I'm shooting is basically a target pistol and people have been using it to shoot silhouette targets for a long, long time. Uh, and silhouette targets shoot, they'll shoot them out there four, 500 yards, but this target is 100 yards. I plan on doing a hog hunt with this gun soon. And this is a, a special target. Uh, what I'm gonna do, is this point right here is where I'm going to aim. The gun should be about an inch and a half to two inches high. So I should wind up hitting somewhere in here. Let's go ahead and see what it'll do. All right, so I wanna show you these little indestructible targets, they say. I've shot these with a 50 BMG. These are Timber Creek little, I don't know what kind of material they are. They're little rubber or plastic, but they are indestructible. So they're pretty big. We're gonna start these out. We're gonna start this out by shooting these little guys right here. I'll shoot the, this one and then this one and make sure that I'm hitting where I'm supposed to be hitting and then we're gonna get serious and shoot that paper target. Nice. See that thing? Woo, sweet. <laughs> All right, here's the one on the right. Woo, baby. What do you think about that? So we've got a paper target down there. I'm going to be shooting at the, the second spot on that. Nice. I felt good about the trigger pull. That was good. All right. Now, I like shooting five shots like this, and the reason why, it just gives me confidence. Okay. All right, let's go see what we have. And folks, I'm kind of ticked off about something. The reason why is because over half the people that are watching this video right now, half, are not subscribers to the channel. I want to find out how come. I think we do some pretty dead gum good videos with some pretty cool guns. Now we're going to check this, and if we're on, we're going on a hog hunt. So hit that subscribe button right now. I can live with that. All right, for 100 yards, uh, that's a pretty good group with a handgun. Now this pistol, again, was primarily used back when it was built uh, for a silhouette long-range target gun. And uh, it does a really good job, as you can see. Uh, I'm a hunter, okay? I really could care less about shooting targets unless they got hair on them. So I'm fixing to go now. I know my effective range that uh, according to the ballistics on the box and whatever ammo you shoot, whatever ammo your gun likes, look at the ballistics on the box and determine you've got two points where that gun is gonna be dead on, okay? In other words, a bullet is going to come out, it's gonna rise a little bit, and then it's gonna fall where each one of those spots is gonna cross and it's gonna be dead on, so you need to figure that out. But this gun right here, I'm very comfortable shooting out to 200 yards easily. So let's head to the field and see what happens. We'd like to thank Online Outfitters for providing us with all of our Timber Creek gear. We upgrade all of our MSRs with Timber Creek parts with different accessories and a variety of colors to choose from. For more information on Timber Creek Outdoors and where to find it, check out our supporters page linked in the description of this video. Right here, he's coming up right here at us. All right, I'm gonna see if I can stop him. You there? Here we go. Yeah. 